Hey, Sandy. Sorry for being late. Hey, hi, Peter. I know what it is. And also, I did not have time to create an agenda. Let me just create mm -hmm. one right quick. OK. I am in and the morning section. I had a few things to discuss, just quick ones. Oh yeah, the pool request. Mm -hmm. okay. The second pool request about that uh, fix that I made for the open API generator. Generate your chart download. Yeah, I think it got merged, right? It did, thanks for merging it, but it had a bug. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it was so silly of me. There was a race condition in the bug fix for the race condition classic. <laughs> uh, let me share my screen. Hey, Rama. Hey, sorry to be good. No problem. Share screen, screen tab. Can you see my screen? Yeah. All right, so then we can start the actual meeting. Hello and welcome everyone to the Cacti Maintainers meeting. Please abide by the antitrust policy notice that I'm showing on the screen and also the hyperledger code of conduct which is linked to you from the agenda document which i just created about 10 seconds ago but it's important to have it because then we can uh, document the meeting so the one thing i had is well, two things thanks for the pr reviews and the other one is that I had to sneak in a second fix to my previous fix to the concurrency issue with the jar downloads. And so the pull request that I submitted to fix a Docker container issue. Yeah. Uh, share this tab. Yeah, so here's the here's the fix. I basically just made it so that it deletes the open API tools JSON file once and it forces it so that even if it fails to delete because of whatever reasons, it doesn't fail uh, the process itself. So with all this now put together, the code generation task should be parallelly running but it should not have race conditions and then the actual pull request uh just about upgrading the fabric images uh but yeah so the the reason i'm talking about all this is because i had to modify the commit message to say that also sneaking the hotfix and also because i'm asking for reviews on this in an expedited manner just because it has a bug fix that hopefully makes the CR more stable which is something that we desperately need because it's been uh, slowing down progress a lot just the fact that the CI takes too long and then it has to be retried a bunch of times when it fails with false negatives yeah And I'll put this on the same chat so that you have access. Yeah, so that's all I had. Mm -hmm. Rama, you had some questions about adding the interns to the repo, right? Oh, uh, 
Yeah, uh, just, just for that, uh, just wanted to say that I'm working on the documentation. Uh, so made some progress, not yet uh, finished though, but uh, I should have something to show you pretty soon. That sounds great, thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, on the interns, uh, so uh, how do we, uh, uh, like, uh, do the interns have to join the Hyperledger organization? Uh, and They don't have to, you know, but I, they okay. can. It's, uh, I guess it's more of a question for Rai, but I'm pretty sure that if they want to join, they can. If I have to assign an issue to them, their name doesn't appear in the list. That's right. And that is because they're not in the organization. Yeah. And they don't have, they also have to have at least triage permission on the repository, but you cannot give them that permission unless they join the organization first. So it's a multi-step process, but if you don't want to deal with all of that, the other alternative is to ask them to comment on the issue saying, hey, I would like to work on this or literally anything else. It doesn't matter. It's just that GitHub automatically gives you permission to assign the issue to their names once they commented on it. And the reason they do it this way is because People have been uh, abusing other people by assigning issues to them without them asking for it. And then mm -hmm. they would have something mean or a death threat or some crazy stuff in the issue description that had nothing to do with actual like open source software at all. So oh. they, they made this permission system for a reason, but for us, it's kind of annoying because it's really just some extra hoop that you have to jump. Not okay. Uh, that makes sense. Now, if we if they did uh, want to join the organization, uh, we'd have to ask Rai, right? They can't. Yes, no and answer. they also changed that, so you don't message Rai directly anymore. You just uh, go to the either the TOC or some other repository. I don't remember. <coughs> Sorry and you open an issue and they have a template that you can fill out that ask the questions of, okay, who is this person? What is their GitHub username? What's their email? And then Rai sees that issue and then he, he adds them to the org. So the whole old way of just uh, messaging Rai directly is not recommended anymore because he was uh, quite overwhelmed with yeah. DMs. I, if I remember correctly, the they asked us to email community architects, but uh, I don't know if that's the same procedure you're supposed to follow. Or where is well, written let down? me double check the link because I have it somewhere I can look it up because I was just doing it for someone who just joined my team mm -hmm. with Accenture as well. So if you if you give me a minute, I can get the link for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not the TOC repo, it's the governance repo. And then this is the link. You click on that link that just takes you straight to the, the new issue creation. And then there's one template specifically that you can choose for add someone to the hyperledger github work what's the first one got it okay thanks a lot no problem yes. uh other than that uh so rai moved all of our issues from the beaver repo to hectai so nice uh yeah officially we kind of set i mean the Weaver repo we are still keeping around because there's an active dependency there. Um, uh, so, uh, but you know, uh, as soon as the dependency gets, um, I mean, as soon as they say they don't need it anymore, then we can archive it. 
Okay. Yeah, that's fine by me. I don't want to rush you or anything. If there's anything I can help with, just let me know. Sure. Thanks. Yeah, but uh, any anything new we are doing on need cacti. So that repo, we're just uh, making some uh, yeah. vulnerability updates as we see them. Yeah, that's good to know. That's, I mean, it was always going to be a gradual migration. It would have been impossible to to do everything all at once. You know, yeah. we, we are still working on some details and we will continue working on some of them. Yeah. The important thing, in my opinion, is that now we have the code in the same repository and, and we're working together. We have uh, communication and we have the issues and the pull requests and all that. Yep. That, uh, Sandeep, was there anything else? No. Okay. All right. I don't have anything else either. And I don't know if Isuru wanted to join. Maybe he couldn't make it today. No, he said he's yeah. off the message. On oh, okay. yeah. yeah, I just didn't have time to read Discord. Sorry. Okay, then. That's cool. Then uh, we can uh, talk next time. And thanks, everyone, for joining. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.